Today we're playing Pokemon Fool's Gold while also raising money for an amazing charity organization. So first things first, Pokemon Fool's Gold um, is a game that we've nuzlocked a long time ago, but I believe it had an update recently uh, with some potential new stuff, and I'm interested to see kind of what that's all about. So we're going to be nuzlocking this, but we're also going to be doing a whole bunch of fun charity related things. Nothing on the stream interface, on Twitch's side, will go to the charity. Um, if you go exclamation point, Chandler donated $100, fuck me! Chandler! We haven't even talked about the charity yet! <laughs> uh, today we're raising money for Games for Love. They're an organization we're going to talk a little bit about here. We're going to get into uh, get into a little bit about them. Um, but if you would like to donate, all you have to do is just hit that button or you can go exclamation point charity in chat. That'll bring you over to the link and we have a whole bunch of fun uh, donation incentives. Our overall goal is to try to raise $2,000 for this charity. Um, but we have some stretch goals farther down the line. Essentially, Games for Love is an organization that raises money to be able to deliver uh, gaming consoles and computer games to children in hospitals to kind of break up their, uh, their treatment routines. And we all know gaming is the best therapy out there, so really cool uh, to be able to help those kids out. So they provide it with computer games, consoles, distract them from suffering uh, that they endure with and kind of break up their routines when they're you know in the hospital for extended periods of time. Um, but their mission is to, you know, for these hospital children to, you know, um, you know, I guess just give them... There's actually a really cool story. Better quality of life, Better quality of life baby. There's a really cool story in here. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit later. But, continuing to make an impact, more than 200 hospitals around the world, helping kids heal, survive, and even thrive by providing them with distraction therapy through consoles and computer games uh, to spark Hope some joy in their lives. Mike, thanks for the sub, buddy. Stream. Those of you who have already donated, thank you very much. Um, Good night. But yeah, with COVID-19 kind of into the picture the past few years, it's been really tough for them to um, get this kind of help to the hospitals, but our goal today is to get some games for these kids because we're gamers, helping out gamers, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let me get through, the oh shit. <gasps> Cinnabon donated $200. Bro, Bro Cinnabon, <laughs> Cinnabon. Thank you, Cinna. Okay, and what do we do at $200? Oh shit, I'm already so hot. Now I gotta put on the slow poke costume. All right, hold on. Arkanel with 250. Arkanel, thank you, buddy. Damn, we've raised $710 already and I haven't even gotten started into the game yet or really even, really even gotten started. Umbi gave me this. I got the whole other cut, like the full rest of the costume I'll put on too, don't worry. <gasps> Cinnabur, aka Cinnabon donated $90, <laughs> we got to the 800 goal, oh, now I gotta get a fucking pot in the face already. <laughs> I have been live for 15 minutes, not even. <laughs> Let me go get my, <laughs> the rest of me Paul suit on, so I can look super cool for you guys. Gosh. Do I look cool? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so cute. This might have to be my Halloween costume this year. I could go, I could hit him with a double slow poke, bro. Check this shit out. I'm double poked up on a Thursday this afternoon. This is like the circle of slow pokes eating each other's tails. <laughs> and all the overlays are pink too. It's a slow poke theme here today. I have all of the Hot Ones sauces and at like 1.6, I'll be doing the first round of the five sauces. And then if we make it to like the stretch goal of, was it like, what did I put it to? 3.5 or something like that? I'll do the like the last dab, but we'll see if we end up getting that far. And now that I've, I already own all these sauces, we'll see how it goes. I'm actually gonna put them on chicken wings. I'm gonna do it just like the hot ones people do it. Um, I mean, honestly, the first five shouldn't be too bad. It actually breaks down the, so it comes a little insert that tells you all of the um, like the levels of, of, of heat. At uh, number five, we're looking at 60,000 uh, Scoville heat units, which is kind of a lot. I mean, you gotta cook up some chicken wings soon. Yeah, I'm gonna have my lovely assistant, Samantha, put some wings in the air fryer uh, soon. We'll, we'll see if we end up getting that far. I am tired of my hat. It's hot. I'm like all sweaty under it. It's my hot hat. I could switch to the, the hood, but it's... <laughs> what the fuck? I really did not expect that. I thought you were being nice helping me out. <laughs> How many did you do? Or is that the same one? Oh 
my god. Ah, uh, it's in my eyes. It burns. <laughs> Man, I even carried this over so that you wouldn't look behind uh. you in the camera to see what I, that I was holding the pie. Ah. <laughs> uh. Fuck. <laughs> Whipped cream burns your eyes, bro. <laughs> Give me a paper towels, quick. Hmm. Hmm. It's delicious, though. So that was for you guys donating eight hundred dollars. <laughs> so hopefully it was worth it, bro. Oh, you're right. Okay, yeah. Now we get Pokeballs. Nuzlocke officially started, boys. It's time. Now you are a king. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's get our first encounter. Out of the first route, I don't feel like there's a whole lot of cool stuff, but we'll see. Okay, first encounter is gonna be the the very um, saggy centret who he's basically just more of a flying squirrel in this, I guess. Centret doesn't normally have those, I, I now realize. Um, cool. Well, check this out. Their tails help them leap into the air, where they glide freely using their skin flaps under their legs. Gross. Skin flaps. So, <gasps> Nuns with guns with a hundred dollar donation? Hello? Can I get the Magikarp song? <gasps> you know uh, what? Yes, you may. <laughs> I got me a shiny one. Absolute banger. If they put this shit on in the club, I'm going hard. I'm twerking. How long are you streaming today? I'll be live for five hours today, so quite some time. I like the colors on this route. Let's see. First encounter over here, what's it gonna be? <gasps> it's a bonfire! Dude, the Corsola! I think we <laughs> Why is Corsola fire? <laughs> Hello? We've got him! Ladies and gentlemen, we've got him. You'll love to see it. Corsola are kind-spirited and often appear by weary travelers, eager to warm them up. All right, first encounter over here. I'm really hoping for something that's not the hot pip. What do we say, boys? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? It's... The ugly ass Venonat, the shaved Venonat. These Pokemon are very easy to miss as they blend right into the leaves they cluster on. <gasps> we got a Pidgey, this is our first encounter, let's go. Oh, I forgot that Pidgey's fighting type and I killed it with a gust. God damn it. I also forgot that my center is in fact flying. <laughs> so both of those situations just did not help my um, cause there. And now I missed out on the Pidgey. Man, I hate it here. It's fine. It's fine, because we get a new encounter in here, and it's gonna be the Zubat thing. Come on, oh, alright, first encounter, Dunsparce, Dunsparce, Dunsparce. <laughs> it's Onyx, slash... Ew, he's a worm. He's worm. He's warm. <laughs> I don't like him. I can't smell, <laughs> he's not Uh-oh. Those are beads. <laughs> I also don't think I have very many Pokeballs. Hello darkness, my old friend. Ah, oh, god damn it, I don't have any Pokeballs! You're bad. I'm literally the worst at this shit, man. All I know is ball. <gasps> Sandshrew is our first encounter here. I forgot that we get our own. Um, okay. Don't know why there's Sandshrews here in the Sprout Tower. However, I like him. A kleptomaniac Pokemon that slashes- What does kleptomaniac mean, Samantha? Steal stuff. Steal stuff. Uh, slashes through bushes and steals items during the night. I could have read the rest of the context and I could have told you. 75 accuracy, baby. Ooh, is Apom? He's a little jester. He's like the he's like the mascot of the game. Loves to entertain. If it has no audience, it will perform f for stumps and boulders. One point six k. We're doing the first nine hot one sauces, which is actually honestly going to be pretty spicy. So, all right, Falk. Oh, he leads Meryl, which ten out of ten did not expect. One down, two to go. We should be okay here. It is Pidgeotto. So, oh my God, it's freaking Popeye after he's had his spinach. Um, oh, we lived it with one, the critical hit, we lived with one, let's go. <laughs> Alright, so we get the dub on the first gym. Let's go. First encounter on this route, what's it gonna be? It's the freaking Hoppip. No, not the, the, the jack-o'-lantern Hoppip, bro. A grumpy Pokemon who stays underground, absorbing nutrients and growing. He's straight up a potato. Yeah, Katsuno just gave you a super cool pickup line if you want to read that, Samantha. Oh, it's Powder Snow. Fuck, I forgot. I saw it hit me with something. I can live that, right? No, I cannot. Critical hit. That's disgusting. God damn it. I see you. This guy's trying to sell me a slowpoke tail? Yeah. I already got my own slowpoke tail. Check it out. You guys ready? You guys ready for the action? 
It's the best part of the stream right here. Yeah. Yeah, this thing has a tail on it, I assure you. Um, so let's see, what, what what can we get in here? Oh, it's already happening. It's already happening. Oh, God. What the hell is that? Diglett? <laughs> it's Diglett. Just a straight up cone. Cone Diglett. Nice. They periodically peep out of the ground in caves, but are cautious to avoid jabbing cavers, cavers' feet. That's pretty kind of them. You know what we could also do? We could also do a giveaway right now for a randomly signed Pokemon card, if anybody would be interested in that. If you donate $1, you get one entry. If you donate anything over $25, it doubles. If you donated 25 bucks, you get 50 entries. Signed Pokemon card giveaway is live. So for the next 10 minutes, you see the little timer up at the bar there? Uh, any donations in this time will give you an entry to the giveaway, and then the bot will randomly choose through the people who have donated within this 10, this 10 minutes. Yeah. Pappy donated $200! Oh, shit! Let's go! Ooh. Pappington! Wait, Pappy, what did that what say? Bully me into what now? Opening his package? Wait, Winner Pappy! Won! Pappy, won! <laughs> Pappy won! Yeah, you just put in fucking <laughs> 400 entries. Holy shit! Pappy won! Let's he go! He the last fucking second. <laughs> I'm letting this thing die so I can get a free switch in, boys. I'm sorry. And if you guys need some energy in your life, there's something else. G Fuel is 30% off using my code. I feel so bad promoting so much shit. I'm sorry. But buy my merch too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the stream is about to get silly from here on out as I'm going to be eating hot one sauces blindfolded while playing a Wi Fi battle. And that's all because you guys have been doing such a good job donating. And I appreciate all of you for real.